Okay, um, this is a short video. I made a similar one before. How to change light bulb. That was where I needed to use the, hal the, the gloves for the halogen bulb. You literally only need two tools for this job, other than the new bulb. A ratchet or something that's 10 millimeter that'll get the bolt. And you can use probably a Phillips or, well not Phillips, a flathead screwdriver or something of that nature, but I use this. So, I made a video, like I said, changing the bulb in here before. That's like, if you Star Wars reference, that's like, uh, um, wait for the vehicle to pass. That's like Padawan level, or Padawan level, whatever. Well, this is like Jedi Master level. It's the same deal almost exactly except for you're not getting into the light bulb housing so this the previous video which I'll link in the description I'm not sure there's much point to but I'll link in the not description I'll put in the end screen but this video here is not this time changing this bulb so I don't need the gloves but it's changing the turn signal which is down here in the bumper but this is conveniently in the way. So, 10 millimeter socket and a wrench. And right here. I already done this. I already got it going. I'm just showing you what I did. Ha. I've been driving around for a day with that stuck in there. I did that once with a ratchet and I couldn't believe it didn't fall. Caught myself a little blessed. Pull that out. I put it in here so it don't go nowhere. I put tools in the little trough here, I guess. In this little fell cap for the coolant. This here comes in handy. Body panel pins. Take this. Don't squeeze the tar out of it. Gently pull. And come out. Yeah, you get a little torque to it. Just don't smash it. These are what are commonly known as channel locks which isn't the correct term, they're called groove joint pliers, but it's one of those things where you say channel lock, you know what they're talking about, like when you say Kleenex, even though Kleenex is a copyrighted term. I digress. All right, there's another deal here. I showed in better detail in the, the light bulb video how to deal with this, but it's kind of like a hex key, but it, it's not really a hex key, it's just a pin. You just turn this sideways and you grab it and pull it out. Don't lose anything. So, now you would think the headlight's loose, but it's not. There's a, there's a push pin, whatever you want to call it, a peg. You just kind of have to, first of all, I try to get past that and then, there get some force to it sometimes. There's a little grommet here that in the last video it did come off on here. I'm not sure it matters. It's still in good shape. Uh, but you know how plastics are. Alright. Just move this up out of the way. Obviously my wire harness has come loose from this deal here. I'm not sure it matters too much. But I'll try to return it before it goes back. Now. I don't know if you can see down in there or not. Now I'll be I'm just for the sake of the video. The camera's sitting where I'd usually nor place the headlamp. I don't know if you can see down in here. There is this is the this is where it gets to Jedi level. This is the turn signal. Now this isn't really complicated. You don't need a whole lot of tools. But it's really kind of shameful that uh, these car manufacturers make it this hard. I'll, I'll try to zoom in on it. There, that's this. You just give it a twist. Sometimes a little more of a twist. Now this is the good bulb. But you just, actually sometimes you have to use a bit of force to pull it out. This is the kind of bulb. This is the 
burn out one. And if you've ever done these kind of balls, you know they can be kind of pers kind of a pain in the tuchus to pull out. But this hole here, don't undo anything here. All you have to do is pull the bulb, insert a new one. And then find, I mean, just kind of, kind of feel it. Watch as I am unsuccessful. Oh, wait. Dirt. Hang on. Well, this is delightful. Well, it goes in there. There's little grooves on the side. You just have to find where they're at. Uh, fiddle. There they are. You line them up, it should go in. Or oh, I thought they are. Forgive me, this is... There we are. I don't know why I didn't do that. Uh, get that sooner, but... Senior moment, maybe. And then your turn signal's changed. Well... Do it in reverse, to put everything back. Make sure you line this peg here. Let me zoom in on that a little. This little peg here, this metal thing, bare metal, goes in here. Just do your best to line it up. You can get the holes here and here where the Allen key thing goes. It's not an Allen key, that's just the best way to describe it. Allen key goes and should light in. It can be a bit of a pain. If it's not going in, well, it was in. There we go. Hear that snap? That's definitely a great indicator. Let me back this boy back out. Reassembly is all that's left. I would suggest personally putting this back in first. These are a little... Kind of have to play with it a little. There's a little metal plastic clip here that once you get it if you go down too far, it won't work. If you don't go far enough, it'll work. You have to just get in just right, like the three little bears. Or like Goldilocks and the three bears. This one was just right. There we go. It's in place. You can see the deal on there. Um, push pin. Just put it back in here where the body panel went. And all there is to it, that's end. And then the 10 mil, 10 millimeter, just put it back in. At least on mine, and every vehicle varies, so maybe it's not that way in every vehicle. Let this car pass because they're noisy sometimes. I hate living on a busy street. It's not super busy, but it's enough. If you can even hear what I just said. But that 10 millimeter, get that in, get that in, get that little peg inside there properly seated, get this push panel in. You can do it without it, but I don't recommend it because it's pain and you might damage this body panel. I, uh, it's really very simple. Pulling tools, I use to do it. Let me know what you think, and I hope this helps. Like I said, light bulb change Jedi level. The first two videos were Padawan.